Greetings, greetings, peace and greetings. <sighs> How y'all really feeling out there like, yo? There's so much happening in the in the ethers. I always speak about this, but this is your daily dose. This is your daily medication. I'm out here getting this, you know, this life. Um, I want to share with y'all about this. You can call it, I'll title this like the Dark Moon Lilith or Black Moon Lilith in Cancer. Let me tell y'all, especially to, this is is going to have a, a vital, uh, this is, uh, this, this is ethereal or uh, having to do with astrology. Uh, Lilith in Cancer. Cancer being the divine mother, the mother sign, dealing with home, family, nurturing, uh, love, waters. Oh, gosh. The matriarchal. This is going to have a definitely like a, a, a huge impact on the motherland or the land. Uh, daughter Earth. Uh, what else? Um, globally, nationally, universally, internationally, everywhere. And I say that because, again, we're in, we're seeing so much being highlighted. So much is going to be highlighted on the matriarchal, the mother, the daughter, the grandmother, the great grandmother. Uh, and I've, Spirit has. Uh, Mama Universe has made this a very apparent to me, <sighs> being that where I'm on, like my path, and knowing that uh, those that if you want to label yourself as an empath or those that are medium psychics, you know all of these things dealing with uh, you becoming more internalizing or becoming more um, aware of the spirit. Um, the primordial waters this transit has to deal with more of the primordial prime meaning the beginning uh prime like optimus prime you <laughs> it's so funny transformers this transit be begin on um the 14th and it's going to uh it's going to dive deep and it's going to be uh how i'm feeling is like even right now being near the water it's 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 truly amazing at the same moment you can never judge water you can never put you can bruce lee said it best and i quote he said uh be shapeless and formless be like water so when we're speaking about the primordial waters the, the primordial from spirit, this is which we come from. We're, we are birthed from the primordial waters, the primordial mother, the primordial forces, the primordial powers. And see, birth, every, from the darkness comes the light. And so I've noticed just how we have to see how from the patriarchal concept of how sex is viewed, how women are viewed, how men are viewed, and this is not so much of gender, we're speaking about energies. The feminine act, the feminine principles now are becoming more aware. You will see a push in how the power of the femininity, and this, this isn't about gender again, this is me even feeling what I'm feeling, like being near water. I've been taking so many baths. I've been wanting, been called to water, been wanting to go to the beach. I've been wanting to just be near the water. And this has to do with the internal cleansing and the external cleansing. Because again, we are made up of mostly water. We are birthed from the waters and still our bodies are still made up of these elements, different uh, elemental um, things that uh, um, physically, spiritually, uh, the frequency, just so many things. Again, whew, I'm telling you, like, I feel like for the empaths of those that are more in tune, we are becoming more 
sensitized or this is a I feel like this is going to be a very sensitive moment for a lot of women facing their shadows men facing their shadows returning to the roots which is the primordial source of everything and this is again the matriarchal mama the truth mama the magic the darkness all things being revealed and it's centered around you have to see how so much of the false narratives and the corruption around uh, how mama should be or how what a mother should be and how she should be and through it all a mother that again that motherly love is unconditional meaning that we've seen what how the whole you know false narrative of loving someone through their conditioning or not loving them at all because of what you feel what we feel they may not have or what we feel that they may not bring to the table or what they may not have in that moment and so this is going to highlight globally a push for a lot of feminine energy to expose the narrative of this corrupted system on how we as beings human beings spiritual beings um the importance of the feminine principles and the fem feminine traits that again have been pushed aside neglected all of this is a part of divine order um lilith what i feel what i'm feeling represents just when we're talking about the primordial darkness we're talking about the the depths when you look at water on the surface as you can see back there you can see the the beauty in it but the deeper you go within yourself it's like the darkness the deeper you go within all you know there is no limitation there is no constraints there is no restrictions on what water can do and where it can go and the destruction it can cause but also the creation from that destruction that it can bring forth so that being said this is for some it's going to be challenging and chaotic but for others it can be very transformative very um uh, a creative moment where we see um, a lot of abandonment issues may come about um, people speaking on um, you know things that have to do with more of the family dynamics uh, again the matriarchal the daughter on how um, how we view ourselves you know how we honor our energy our the woman honors her womb the man honoring his his staff his penis you know and if we see the pain and all those things that again has taken place up to this very moment this is if we depending on how we use and uh, honor this energy this could be a very pivotal moment a shift in how the powers that be now how we can use that darkness and to elevate and expose what has been hidden and then bring it forth to the light to bring forth not just fighting for not not no equality no it's for the power to be who you are the power to be you the power to walk in your truth your authenticity the power to honor that darkness and not to be ashamed of it the things that people want shamed now you bring a light and to live in that and not be ashamed of so um it's 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 going to be very interesting but i realize that uh, again when you look at water you can see the 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 calmness on the top of the surface but down below in the currents is more powerful it's darker you never know what you're going to get when you're down in the water so that's the beauty and also the force and the power of what water can do and we, here we are in the, 
the cancer sign. I like to say Kepri, but um, this is a sign, again, centered around the mother, the matriarchal, the family, the home. And look at how the foundation of what the the Americas are certain. Oh, this is going to happen not just here, but globally. Because it's going to push forth the honoring what the mother, you know, not just the mother, but how the feminine should be uh, honored and respected and, and, and appreciated and for all that she has done. And continue to do so it's like how how can you judge what's dark <laughs> you know and then and then it's gonna highlight a lot of stuff with people that are a melanin descent how we've been treated how the world has portrayed us that you know women that are, are darker shades and even how the media is portrayed like it's a lot of bullshit like again how they portray Melanated women, darker women, you may say black women, but I like to say, you know, how they portrayed the ancient melanated woman. And that being said, it's like me, it's like I don't even care how I've been feeling. Like, I don't even, I've been so far away from the TV, I don't even like reading. I've been just so in tune, spirit, like, go to nature, go, go be with yourself, go see the how. I was expressing to other women, I'm like, expressing to, you know, some re feminine reflection on myself. I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm like so fed up with seeing, and this is me, I'm so fucking fed up with seeing women trying to look like other women. Like, stop it. It's an expression, but why try to look like something you're not? I honor what is, you know, when I look at my hair and I look at, like, fuck that. Like, I'm telling myself, like, bro, this is my own journey. And it's it's like, the more I was, there's no way I could try to fit in something that's corrupted. Because people are trying to look, one minute, they got women that are meddling and trying to look like this woman. And these women over here trying to look like this. And when you see the origins of the earth, it's like, look at my hair. I'm looking at bushes. I'm looking at trees. I'm like... Nothing in nature is straight. Yes, everything is curved. Everything is angles. Water is shapeless, it's formless. And so when I look at the trees and I'm looking at the beauty and the naturalness, I'm sitting here like, yo. So I try to push into like, especially the women I know, I'm like, yo, I don't care how you feel, but why the fuck, why, stop wearing them lashes. Who are you trying to look like? Like, do you not know how beautiful you are just inside? And so what I'm trying to see is that the more I become in tune and I honor the feminine, spirit is showing me, like, embrace the, the, the totality of who you are. Embrace the holistic, you know, being of who you are. And mothers, it's like if you're going to try to look like something, what is that you, what are you teaching to the daughters? Man, like, I, I'm seeing on TV, I'm like, and it makes so much sense. It's like, do you not see, like, this whole narrative of, like, trying to be strong? We don't need you to be strong. This is meant for the masculine. And a lot of this had to happen the way it did for the energy to counter. When the father was removed, again, this has caused the mother to be the protector, the provider, for her to be in that strong mentality and forget about her feminine aspect. This is now why things are countering. This is now why women are being like, you're seeing the whole shift of the narrative, them honoring inside, connecting to their spiritual, connecting to their roots, the roots being the darkness, the very thing that the world was trying to tell you to hate and dislike about yourself, which is the dark aspect of who you are. Which is the darkness that we all have, the feminine principle, which is the negative that you see on batteries, the nurturing, the mother, the loving yourself. Again, for, these, for the tree to grow, you need the water. The water represents mama. So we need mama to embrace her waters, to embrace and nurture herself, to be shapeless and formless to this society. 
to societal constraints. Of course, the whole narrative is trying to push you to look like other people. Wearing blonde hair, trying to push you to look like, to be everything else in the world but yourself. <laughs> Fuck that. The greatest thing I could have ever did, what I'm realizing now, through all the narratives and through all the cultures, people that I've met, I always stood in my own integrity. I always stood true to me, no matter what woman, no matter what shade. Because I, I realized that the whole world through the media, through, through, through childhood traumas, I had to learn that I had this concept, this misconception, because I was feeling as a son my mother's pain. So I tried to run from those things. This is what a lot of our men now are realizing, not all, but some, is that the very thing they're running from is a darkness that their mother that connected them their mama's son representing the physical is the very thing that they were running from physically. And then when you bring the, 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 the father and the daughter aspect, they represent the spiritual, then the spiritual aspect of the daughter reflects back to the father that I cannot run from you because you are a reflection of the mother spiritually, which is the darkness, which is the feminine principle. I shade. <laughs> so it's all connected. So how can we tell a woman or or or, or the feminine principle? You, there is no controlling. There, that's the illusion. There is no controlling water. I'm gonna create another video and create a part two because I love to keep this going. Like. <laughs> 